We have an update for you on the Rick Santorum Google problem. Uh, you know what the Rick Santorum Google problem is, right? I might have mentioned it a couple of times on this show. It is the problem he has and then you have when you Google him. If you do not know what I mean, you can Google Santorum. Do not do it at work. Do not do it in front of your mom. That's because if you put the word Santorum into the Google search engine, you get information. You get vivid, vivid information, but you do not get what you are almost certainly looking for about Rick Santorum. I am not going to ask you about Rick Santorum and campaigning against MSNBC and what he can or cannot Google. So I mean, there's no way to find out about Rick Santorum. I mean, you can't, I mean, you can't just go to the internet and type that into Google. I cannot research it. So you're, 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 there's there's nothing to come back. I can actually, I should say I can research it at home, (laughs) but I can't research it at work. You can Google it. It's safe. It's not like Rick Santorum. Until recently, when you typed the word Santorum into your Google search box, uh, the first result, even more prominent than Rick Santorum's campaign website, was a website called Spreading Santorum. Spreading Santorum was created in 2003 to, frankly, retaliate against Mr. Santorum for equating same-sex relationships with bestiality. That's why everybody calls him the man-on-dog guy. That's what he said it was like to be gay. Man-on-dog. That's what he said. The website SpreadingSantorum.com turned Mr. Santorum's last name into a euphemism for something I will not describe on television. Uh, But its creator, the genius Dan Savage, got so many people to link to SpreadingSantorum.com that it became the most prominent search result on Google for the word Santorum for years. But then over the past week or so, something changed. Now, this was first noticed by a Twitter user named Anthony Hecht, who asked, quote, did Google de-rank spreading Santorum? First or second result for seven years and suddenly busted off the main page. And you know what? It's true. As the blog Search Engine Land pointed out with, with screen caps that they posted, the first result used to be for typing in Santorum, Google, right? Uh, if, if you'd go to google.com, type in Santorum, hit return. The first Result used to be the site spreading Santorum, but last week the first result changed to Mr. Santorum's official campaign website, and spreading Santorum got bumped way down to the bottom of the first search page. So so far down, it wouldn't even appear on your screen until, unless you scrolled. Then all of a sudden, though, spreading Santorum started moving back up the search results page. So, of course, figuring this out, the Rachel Maddow Show staff has been Googling Santorum madly ever since, despite my strict instructions not to do so at work. Um, And interestingly, we are not all getting the same results. Some of us have got an even better result in the number one spot. Uh, The definition of Santorum, courtesy of UrbanDictionary.com. We have to redact a lot of it. As you can see here, it is an even more graphic description than what was up at Spreading Santorum. It's, in fact, stunningly graphic. Now... Why the Santorum search results page is constantly changing is at this point unclear. Google released a statement on Wednesday uh, saying, quote, we make more than 500 changes to our algorithms in a typical year. With each of those changes, sites will shuffle to different positions in our search results. We have not manually taken action to change the ranking of the site. So with this added dose of unpredictability in terms of what your results are going to be, I think Rick Santorum's Google problem If it didn't get worse, it just got a lot more interesting. Now there's even more of a reason to keep typing the word Santorum into the search box and hitting return. You never know what you're going to get. But you should definitely wash your hands regardless. And probably don't do it at work. And don't talk to your mom. Just alone. That does it for us tonight. Now it's time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Have a great night.